Dive into the fun world of letters with Sparkle DNA's ABC Word Chase and Coloring Book. Looking for an exciting and educational way to help your little ones explore their ABCs? Look no further. This engaging book not only allows your child to practice tracing the alphabet, but also includes tracing words and coloring fun pictures in between. It's kid-friendly, kid-approved, and the perfect blend of learning and creativity. Get your copy today and watch your child's learning journey light up with joy. Hey, and welcome back to the LifeScope channel. On your way in, don't forget to like, share, definitely subscribe and support the channel. It's appreciated as always. Now, before we get into this short two minute clip, I just want to say rest in peace to John Amos, the daddy, the father on good times. If you were a kid in the 80s and the 90s, you definitely saw good times and know about good times. And good times still does come on. It comes on Tubi and I definitely still watch it. So rest in peace to John Amos um, and condolences to his family. Now, I want to get into this short two minute clip of Pierce Morgan and Jaguar Wright. Apparently Jaguar Wright has been making such headway and based off of what Diddy is going through, she is one of the people that have been talking about him and Jay-Z for years now and just saying how much of the devil they are. And um, it seems like with the arrest of Diddy, that some of those things are coming to light, which could give maybe a little bit of credibility to Jaguar right like maybe she was right in some aspects not everything of course but maybe she wasn't as crazy as people painted her out to be so I wanted to just take a look at this short clip and see what they're talking about because I haven't watched the interview yet so you want to know why there's no vindication for me because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response that changes now sean you must respond you have no choice harvey weinstein jeffrey epstein robert kelly sean combs have one person in common professionally and privately. Sean Carter, this has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through. Let me just pause right there. So Jack Wright, um, being a very dramatic and interesting storyteller that she is, you want to listen to the words she is saying because she was in the industry and in some regards still is, but she was in the industry. And I was like a couple of days, years old when I found out that that Jay-Z song, um, Gotta Make the Song Cry, that Jaguar Wright was the one that was singing the background. Now I saw a live where she is on stage with Jay-Z and some people wonder why does she have such a hard on for Jay-Z? So it makes you want to go back and listen to those interviews that she's done on um, other people platforms that she's been talking about Jay-Z for years and to really get an earful to see what was going on because she was the background singer 
for that particular song. Now, I don't know if she was actually his background singer on a regular, but on that song, I mean, she's right there with him. Does that mean she knows everything about him? No, but that also could mean that she has seen some things. She being in the industry, I don't question that she has not seen some stuff. Like, it just doesn't make sense that she wouldn't because it used to be a time where people that were in the industry before everybody had all of the cameras and the videos lurking for us. And I mean, us as the people not in the industry, just being viewers, fans, subscribers or what have you wouldn't know anything about that world other than what they wanted to show and they were getting busy and when i mean getting busy they were doing everything under the sun and then some and this is back in the day that they have told um that story like old hollywood back in the day was getting busy but we would have never known anything about that because they knew how to keep that secret. So can you even imagine having social media, having um, camera phones and everything like that back in maybe like the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, just having all of that information and people seeing what was going on in the old Hollywood or the old entertainment system. So now that we do have those things readily available for us to use when it comes to these celebrities it seems like they just don't have any type of privacy and more of them are just being exposed so i do believe a good bit of what jaguar wright is saying because she was in that world let's keep going our culture and our society for decades it must stop there's been obviously a lot of free artistry right there's been a lot of uh rumor mill about what has happened in the rap world a lot of allegations that the misogyny in the lyrics clearly was based on Mm -hmm. a general misogyny towards women away from the music. And that clearly seems to have been borne out by these charges against Diddy, which if he's found guilty of all this, he's never coming out of prison. How dangerous do you think... Thank God. How dangerous do you think he is as a person? I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. (laughs) Wait a minute. Why she threw Claudia Jordan in it? Like, what did Claudia Jordan do for her to say, I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan? I would never take a picture with him. Like, you do know there are a lot of celebrities, uh, reality or otherwise, that have taken pictures with Diddy. So to point out Claudia Jordan... That's some interesting stuff. And it makes me wonder, like, what's going on with child? Uh Uh-huh. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious jewels. We have too many lost. The list of lost is ridiculous. And I do agree with her on that. Now, people um, that want to say, hey, Diddy is getting hemmed up because he is a black man. What about the other people? Well, she just named two people who names keep getting brought up. Clive Davis and Lucian Grange. I keep hearing their names. So she is not afraid to name the people that put Diddy in that position. And although I can sympathize with um, Diddy if he was allegedly a victim and that was done to him, 
but I will never sympathize with the fact that because that was done to you, you turned around and did it to somebody else. Like it's never not going to make sense to me. He, him being a victim, that was um, once upon a time ago. And now you're choosing to do the exact same thing because somehow, some way, that is a part of the game, which doesn't make any sense. But that's what apparently they do in the entertainment business. Yeah. So I tend to want to believe her with what she just said. There are so many lost people. She said the number of the lost is too many. And everyone knows Diddy was selected for this job. Okay, so that was only two minutes of that clip and very interesting. She said a lot within two minutes. If you want to check that out, you have to go to Pierce Morgan to see the whole interview. And I may do that as well. But yeah, they, I want to believe that is what happened to Diddy, allegedly. They placed him in that position because of whatever he did or allowed to be done to him. They placed him in the position so he could not only make money, but bring in people that just want to be able to improve their lives and just try to make it. Can you imagine just people who want to do better, be better? Of course, you're going to get caught up in the trap. There should be a few people. We could understand a few people getting caught up in the trap. But then when you have a whole unit, when you have a whole system, that is basically doing that 360 on you. So they spinning you around and then they spitting you out. Then we have to look at the system to see what exactly is going on and how can people help to make the system better or for Jaguar Wright, because she is on her crusade, tear the system down altogether. And it starts... For her, um, Jay-Z, Diddy, and the people that she has named, Clive Davis, Lucian Grange, the people that she has named. So let me know what you think. Do you believe Jack Warwright? Or is she still living in fantasy land for some of you all and just speaking conspiracy theories? Now, again... We have to say that all of this is alleged until the information comes out. I'm never going to not keep saying that. Um, And because I have to, you don't know what people be on. But all of this is alleged until all of the information comes out. However, with the Diddy case and some of the things that has been leaked through the media or told to us, she did say some of the things like the horse tranquilizer drugs. She did talk about stuff like that prior to him getting arrested as if she knew. So mainstream media definitely wants some of the juice, some of the gossip. They want to be able to put it out there and just capitalize on that as well. So definitely let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and support the channel. And until next time, bye.